Andrew says it's time to be single again. Andrew, what's going on? Well, I guess I'll start with what happened last weekend. What? So I was at a bonfire with my friends, and we always turn up, but we got a little bit crazier yes. than normal. It started out with people jumping over the fire. Not too crazy, but eventually people started grabbing boards out of the fire. And they were smacking them across people's backs and stuff like that. Now, Gosh, this sounds like fun. <laughs> so my buddy says he wants to top it all. What's that? He uh, says that he wants to take a brand. And a brand, we took a clothes hanger and we made a crude one. And he says You that mean brand like you brand cattle? Exactly like you brand cattle. So you take a coat hanger, you put it in the fire, and when it's nice and hot, you brand a person? Yep. Well, it was his idea. <laughs> well, you had the chance to say, that's a horrible idea. Well, I was right there holding his leg down for him so he wouldn't kick it and scream. Wait, you held him down while someone else branded him? It was his idea. <laughs> Honestly, if someone asked me to do that, I'd probably say no. <laughs> But anyway, so, and what was, what exactly was this branding? Well, we put a letter in for our hometown, Norwood, and uh, my, my friend Elizabeth was the one who was recording it all. She's oh, it's her fault. <laughs> no, so she's recording a, a camera. She's, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, she doesn't turn up as much as we do, so she got kind of shaken by that. Duh. <laughs> After that, I decided to play a little bit of cleanup. I wanted to go see what, what was up with her. And uh, yeah. she seems like she's upset about something prior to that anyway. So I started talking to her, and um, I'm talking to her, and she says that uh, her relationship hadn't been going that well with her boyfriend. She said that she wanted to start working out, but her boyfriend didn't want her to because she, he didn't want her to become sexy. And I'm thinking, that's got to be the most insecure thing that I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. And it's hard to believe you'd be outraged by anything, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, so she says she's having trouble with a boyfriend. Boyfriend won't let her work out because he doesn't want her to be sexy. <laughs> and she's, she's got some problems. So how you did know? you solve this problem? Well... You branded her, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no. Not her. But, uh... I mean, I told her, like... She doesn't have to feel that way. I mean, yeah. she's beautiful. I mean, I oh, you, you let her know. You you're know? a caring person. I could tell that as soon as you. <laughs> so, so what happened? So things started getting hot and heavy. Yeah. We found a place hot. to be alone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we found a place alone, be alone, and we ended up having sex that night. So you did brand her. <laughs> <laughs> well. My girlfriend knows her. Oh. So. And uh, we'd have been, we've been having problems at home anyway. I like, can't imagine. Yeah. It's been going on for a couple months. Uh, it's like I've been working so, so much. Oh. And I mean, I work 50 hours a week plus. What do you do? I do construction. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, she hasn't had a job or at least been able to hold one for the last couple months now. Yeah, your girlfriend. Yeah. Right. We live together. We've been living together since basically we got together. We, we moved in. I moved in with her three months after I knew her. Yeah, okay. So, so you're, you're with her now, and do you still care about your girlfriend? See, there's just so, so much stress that I've been dealing with. It's oh. just like this, all this work that I'm doing, and she won't help me. Last couple months, every time she goes to apply jobs, I've talked to her, I've tried to be cool with her. She just, she'll turn down jobs because she don't like them, and she says, like, oh, I'll get the next one, but that's not helping me with the bills. Yeah. I have a mountain of debt that I'm working on right yeah. now. I have $11,000 from trade school going there. Yeah. I have three maxed out credit cards that yeah. I can't touch. They're growing, they're getting worse and worse, and I can't fix my problems because I have to put food on the table for both of us. I have yeah. to pay the internet, I have to pay the rent, I have oh, to yeah. pay uh, So having sex with this other girl uh, relieves your debt? No, I'm, I am not saying that at all. Yeah. I, just... I honestly never <laughs> intended to do that, and yeah. I mean, that's terrible. I never thought I would So you're here be basically to you tell your girlfriend what you did to fess up about that, because yeah, they know her, each other. And then let her know that I'm not going to carry her dead weight anymore. Oh. Well, she now knows because she's been watching. Here's Madison.
Ooh. Why? Why'd you do this to me? Why'd you break my heart like this? I just, I feel like I'm stuck, you know? I've been talking to you for this the last couple months. It feels like I'm drowning and you're doing nothing to help me. I'm doing every, nothing to help you. Yeah, every day I come home from work and then you're there. You didn't work that day. I mean, what? We're supposed I didn't to be, work and, that day. We're supposed to be cooperating and you're not helping me. And, and you know that our house is going to end up, we're not, we're not going to be able to live there. We can't keep this ship afloat if, it, if you can't help. I can't, I can't keep this lifestyle up for us. See, that's funny, because who do you think does all the cleaning, the cooking, everything like that, the laundry, does all the housewifing? Which, also bringing that up, you know, you want to make me feel like a housewife, but you won't even marry me because you don't believe in marriage. I've and... told you, I, my parents never got married. Nobody in my family is married. That explains a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> another thing, thing is... another thing. Trying to bring up about bills, okay? I paid for an entire year for him to live with me while he went to college and school. Okay, took care of you for an entire year. Uh, no. An entire year. And it's yeah. only been a month. It's only been a month since I haven't had a job. Maybe two at the most, maybe. See, that's different, though. How? How's that different? How's that different? different? How's that different? She's 10 months ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a job, full-time job. Yeah. And I was going to school. I was gone 60-plus hours a week. Yeah. I leave my, I left her house 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I didn't get home until 11. So did I live there or did I sleep there? Um, you lived there considering you ate there, showered there, did your laundry there, did everything there. Yeah, yeah I would say you lived yeah. there. What about this girl, because you watch backstage, so you know about this girl, Elizabeth? Yes. You know her? How? Um, Elizabeth is actually supposed to be one of my really good friends. Ooh. Almost like a sister to me. So I'm extremely, extremely pissed. Here she is. Here's Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are friends. Uh, you could say that, I guess. Mm. You could say that, I guess. Okay. We have not talked in years, so we I don't even know what you're talking years? about. We just talked not even that long ago. We talk almost every day. No, I don't. I really don't know what you're talking about, actually. Um, we have not <laughs> spoke. Um, you're kind of mind warped or something, because we literally have not talked in, like, two or three years, I swear to okay. God. Okay, okay. Well, I that's think you're mind warped, but okay. Three years versus every day. <laughs> I guess having conversations. I know it might be through social media and text messages, but I guess oh, I that's see. not being a friend. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you're just constantly complaining about everything, and I just try to help you out, I guess. But, I mean, like I said, I'm sorry. Um, you're sorry? I just want to let you know I am sorry that it did happen. So you don't want to be with... Uh, with uh, help. <laughs> oh, so you're just going to sleep with him and completely run what I had going? Dude, it was just a one-time thing. Like I said, It was I'm a one-time thing. Never, okay. We never meant that... It was... <laughs> It was not in our intention. Right. We're supposed to be good friends. I don't care if we haven't talked in years or a couple months. Do you want me on my hands and knees, like, begging you to, like, take I it mean, back? I mean, yeah, or... get on your knees, bitch. You just did that to me. <laughs> All right. This is seriously going to do this to me? All right. Oh, Here is your uh, uh, Jay, who's your boyfriend? She's my boyfriend. All right, here is Elizabeth's boyfriend, Jay. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry. Like I love you, I do. It no, was no, just. No, no, no. no. You were my first real girlfriend. I put two years into you. Aww. You know damn well before I got with you, I didn't give a about anything. Nothing. 
And you know you changed me, right? Okay, you know you love things because you love your car. It's my car. I've been about it since I was 16. What you, do you put think? like five grand no, 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 into no. that thing with all those wheels that you do every single month. I don't care. Month. It's my money I work for. And yet you don't do anything to please me? Oh, so I don't please you. You don't do anything. I don't please you, but this fool does? Yeah, he did. He took care of me. Oh. I was just walking for one night. He took care of you right after I've been taking care of your ass for two years. Got you out of Norwood. Gave you a place to stay in my parents' house. Yeah, a uh, parents' get... house, guys. She was driving a hoop dude when I met her. An old Honda Accord. What do you drive now? A nice car? Who helped you get that? Who showed you how to do the to it? Okay, well, uh, kind of like what he was telling you on um, the whole gym thing. I can't even take a shower there because you think some dude's going to come in there. And it's a women's locker room. Because you act sketchy about it. How do I act sketchy about it? I'm literally going to take a damn shower. I worked out. Like, it's at my job. I don't care then. <laughs> All I know is I know I take care of you, so I don't want to hear that. Your parents I take tell... care of me. Oh, okay. My parents take care of you. In what ways? Because I stay at their house. Okay. You don't take the food. You know there. we've been working on getting a house. What have I been working and saving money for? Nothing. Just to just to have it. Obviously. But you're still buying wheels every week, I like buy I said. Wheels. I don't want to hear that. We're talking about the car. Okay. I'm talking about you. You messed up. I tell you you're beautiful every day. I don't want to hear you say, oh, you can't look sexy. You know I like you thick. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to hear that. You, you, you are truly romantic. You got it, Jerry. Again, though, like I said, I still love you. Like I said, it was a mistake. It was a one-time yeah. thing. I'm, oh. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. You know what? You can go <laughs> yourself. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.